Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, back, back, I'm back. Boy, I ate those potatoes and I ate two big plates. <laughs> I'm full as a dick. But you know, while I was eating, I was thinking about the United States and how we have helped other countries, you know, with aid and stuff and how we come to the aid of each other. And I was just wondering if, God forbid, something happens in the United States, I wonder how many countries would come to our aid. I just wonder. But I hope that time never comes. But we have to be prepared. And my friend, bless his heart, he he's a... What is he? A Sagittarius. Ooh, a true Sagittarius. And, you know, since they've added uh, this other, uh, you know, the other, I can't think what you call it. But anyway, they've added another one to the horoscope. So instead of 12, we have 13. And uh, you see, you see, I can't even say it. You see, if is, is added. So, you know, everything is off. So. Um, I think Pisces start March 11 and everything is off and I think this happened when we had this big earthquake you know and that started that tsunami that killed all those people in the Indian Ocean and the earth was tilted I don't know how many degrees so our alignment with the sun the planet was just totally everything is discombobulated so now we don't know what we are but anyway my friend he he's was said to be a Sagittarius and I'm said to be a Pisces but he has I don't know this idea in his mind that nothing we can do about anything and my brother I don't you know was several Mostly men, they just don't believe that we can mentally and our conscience can make a difference. But if enough of us concentrate on the right thing, we can make a difference. It's not like I'm able to go out and do a million woman march. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about transferring our energy. Just like we've been beefing and fussing and uh, on and me, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about myself on YouTube with all of this energy. So, just imagine if we could direct this kind of energy to change to things that's going on. We could change it. I know we could. It's the universal consciousness. We 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 could do it. Because I remember, and I know this still happens. I think stupidity floats around just like genius floats around. I mean, it's just doom, 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 floating around. Then all of a sudden, here's a genius idea. And this one person acts on it. And makes a million dollar move. And invents something that another person say, Oh, I thought about, I had that idea two years ago. They stole my idea. No, they didn't steal it. You just passed up on it when the universe came and gave it to you. You didn't act on it. So it continues to move around. And just like stupidity. It passes around. And it could be some silly things, some thoughts, and you say, ooh, something to grab you. Ooh, don't do that. But some people move on those stupid ideas and make some dumb mistakes. And I, that, that's the way it is. I believe that this stupidity and genius does float around. And we have to take advantage when... Great ideas hit us over the head and move with it. And you don't have to tell everybody 
of what ideas you have, but act on it when you can. Act on it as soon as possible. And if you can't act on it, you could tell somebody that, that you know, that can act on it and that trusts you and believe what you say. Because I've done that. I've told my nieces and things, things, any of my children, I've told them, do this, please do this. This is a good idea, but I just can't. I'm not able to do it. And they, they believed me. And they went on and did it and made it happen. So YouTube can be a venue for people who are not able to physically make things happen, but you can inspire. That's the word, inspiration. You can inspire people. And if you have people who, you know, you can inspire people to do the wrong thing too. Just like, uh, what's his name? Jim Jones. If you have that charisma and people follow you, you leading a whole bunch of folks to hell, you have to be careful then. But you can get people to do the right thing if you have that personality. So I just hope we as women can get together. Young, old, it doesn't matter. But I, I I love to see young women making a difference in the young people's lives, even old people. Old women can make a difference, and that's the only hope we have. They were talking today about, I forgot, what species of polar bear that is extinct. I think it's, it's another species of a polar bear that's extinct. And, you know, we can get so tied up and caught up in our own lives and we don't pay Mother Earth any attention. We don't. But there are some, some serious things that's going on with the planet and especially what the millenniums, you know, they are the ones that need to be conscious. And even me, I, older people need to be conscious. Because if you believe in reincarnation, hell, we coming back. Unless uh, whatever is supposed to be really going on. Because I don't know. People have said I'm crazy. And I said I was from another planet and all that kind of stuff. But there are so many people who don't know about star seeds, and when you don't know and you yak, 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 you look stupid. You really do. You look really stupid when you talk about stuff you don't know. There are people who know that they are star seeds. They know that, you know, they know more than what the average person knows. And don't be jealous because you don't know. Take the word crazy out of your, your vocabulary just because you don't understand. You you missing what you need to learn. Because they said um, Galileo was crazy. Einstein. All of these people were crazy. And I'm not saying I'm Galileo and Einstein. But I'm not stupid. That's what it is. And I'm not crazy. So, but go and learn what something means before you talk on it. If you don't know what it means, don't, don't throw everything away because shit, you missing out a whole lot. But if you don't understand, it's best not to say, just say, I don't know. I didn't intend to get off of that, but I can't go forward until I tell you what's really going on and I'm not trying to get a million people I'm not trying to get a bunch of subscribers to listen to what I'm saying like I said when I first made this video I do YouTube channels for myself because the MS that I have it it works on the nerves in my whole body and the signals in my speech, I'm getting better. But 
it's slow. Your, your, your my mind tells me what words to say, but I can't say them sometimes. And I'm trying my best to keep keep it up. I mean, where you can't understand what I'm saying. But when I first, maybe what five years ago, it was getting pretty bad, and my my balance and stuff. There's a lot of people that's in a worse shape than I am, and uh, I do suffer from this PBA, and you'll end up crying when nobody else is crying. You'll end up laughing, <laughs> and ain't nothing fun. <laughs> so I helped that. I was at a woman, she was giving a speech at the AA, and she was talking about me and my book. And I'm sitting on the front row, and I'm just nodding and crying, and they giving me tissue, and she was saying stuff that was funny, and I'm still boohooing. And it was embarrassing, because I couldn't stop crying. And when the event was over, she said, Mary, why were you crying like that? And I told her, I said, and I didn't know I had PBA then. I said, baby, I don't know. I said, just be glad I wasn't laughing. I said, because sometimes I laugh, and I can't stop laughing. She, but she said, oh, I just feel so sorry for you. I said, okay, but I, I try my best not to go to funerals. And, man, it's, it's, ooh, it's embarrassing. And I remember one, one time my son was telling me, he said, he was getting ready to come over to my house. And he said, Mama, I'm on my way. All I have to do is uh, put on my little shoes. And when he said my little shoes, oh, I died laughing. And he laughed, but I just kept on laughing. And he said, Mama, that wasn't that funny. And he said, all I said was my little shoes. And oh, I died. I laughed again. And oh, it is, I don't know. God, so I don't know. This young man says something else. But I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with the hand I got. Yeah, it's it's uh, I'm learning more about it, and and I went to the doctor. Uh, what was that? Monday, yeah, Monday, and to get the results of all of this, what you call it, carpal tunnel and the nerve damage. You know what I mean? Doing all this electrocuting and what he was doing, I got the results, and I do not have any carpal tunnel. Nor do I have, I got some damage at C6 and C7, but it's just arthritis all in the, the T spine, but it's, it's nothing they can do about it. And so he was telling me, he said, you have a lot of inflamed nerves. And he said, your neurologist, your MS doctor could tell you more about it, but there's nothing they can do about it, but give you gabapentin. And I already take. 2,400 milligrams of that now, so, and the neurologist told me he's going to step it up to the maximum, which is like 20, 27 or 28, but it's funny how when you hurt so bad that you, you just know something is wrong, the, the nerve pain is, oh man, and the only thing you can do is put heat or ice on it, and even the pain pills kind of deflect it, but nerve pain is something else. And I, I'm i just going to have to live with this or die with it on my mind. Nothing nothing you can do about it. I give my, myself the shots, the injection three times a week to try to stave off the MS. So that's all you can do, but I'm just glad it's, it's not any, you know, uh, carpal tunnel and what you call it, the uh, compression on the spine. But I can deal with the nerve pain, but you know how you wish you, you've known that you had MS because I had... I still have it, even though I don't have any teeth. I still, my teeth still hurt. My gums still hurt. The nerves still fire off. And I think about it. I say, you know, 
I had, and the dentist, they'll pull your teeth. They don't care. And he, they didn't know I had, ooh, where you going? They didn't know I had MS, and I ended up getting all of my teeth pulled because they were hurting. And so, hey, sugar, come on. So I could have kept my teeth, but when, when you're hurting, you would say, pull this tooth out because it hurts. And now I still have a toothache and don't even have no teeth. And it's silly, but I don't know. Hindsight is twenty twenty, I guess. But um, you live and you learn. That's that's what you, I have to do. But anyway, oh, I'm at fifteen minutes. What the hell have I been talking about? But anyway, guys, I am trying to. Uh, make a recovery because like I said I had a setback last week dealing with some BS on this this uh, YouTube and I'm recovering and I hope all people involved uh will recover. Hey, 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 stop it. Don't you don't do it. Don't even do it. Do not. I'm looking at you. She uh getting ready to my pajamas on the bed. She getting ready. I'm looking at you, sonny. Don't do it. To chew up my pajama top. I wish I could show y'all some of the stuff she has chewed up. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put this now. I'll do another video, but it's it's ridiculous. The stuff she has chewed up. I'm gonna put it on pause and show y'all some stuff and I'm, I'm not gonna put a dog in therapy i love my dog but she has some issues i'm gonna put it on pause i'm gonna come right back okay i'm back look at this let me see if i can show you people see it this is a, is a bolster pillar a foam pillar that i use to keep my my mattress from sliding because the um the frame of the the footboard is is you know you got a gap, and I'd rather have a gap at the foot than the head because I read a lot in the bed. Look at this. Can you see that? This is a pillow slip, a pillowcase. You know, I went way way back when I said pillow slip. Look at that. Yeah, you looking, and she looking at me now like, yeah, I'm telling it on you. Look at that. She have eaten purses, buckles off my jeans, shoes. Look at you, sonny. Ain't you shame of yourself? Yeah, I'm telling on you. And look at this. I have to look at that. That's a nice... Uh, face towel. Y'all ever seen anything like that? Yeah, I'm telling it on you. Come here. Look at she want to hide now. But, and, uh, foam rubber everywhere. And Sonny ain't no puppy. Sonny is eight years old. Yes, you are eight years old. And, uh, it's not like she's having separation anxiety. I could see if I was gone, but she does this stuff when I'm home. So, I don't know what that is. And I told the vet about it. And, you know, they don't have, they don't, I, I guess the rich people got medication for their dog, but it ain't that kind of party for me, for me to find medication for her. The stuff she's eating, and she's eating so much till uh, one time she her tooth was loose, and that's before I knew about SPCA and the the um, the um, the vet charged me three hundred fifty dollars to pull this loose tooth, and it was I didn't I didn't even know her tooth was loose, man. So you know they got to put them to sleep to do all that. She can't even chew. I don't even give her these chew bones. Cause she got these little funny teeth. You know how sit chews have. 
but this this is ridiculous and this is nothing my sister and my my friend they you know come over and get comfortable pull off the shoes and i'm sitting here and i could hear something crunching i said oh my god sonny and pull the shoe that's when i was sick my sister came and stayed with me and she was just climbing the bed with me and you hear her crunching she done chew she chewing on a shoe look at that oh my goodness why she's so fat look at that look look at sonny yeah you the bad one you bad bad girl and I, I like to say good girl. But look at that. Just eat up everything. It don't matter. Yeah. I don't understand it. I wonder what does that... Maybe it's got a sweet taste. But why would you eat foam rubber, paper, um, books? I mean books. Shoes, belt buckles. It, it, it's, I don't know, but I love my baby, but I don't know. It's okay. I just have to keep everything up. But when you start eating the pillowcases, you know, you got to keep your pillows on the bed. And she, she's got plenty of treats, plenty of chew, I mean, uh, stuffed toys. They all over the floor. I have to. You know, move them out the flow so I don't fall on them. You know, I have enough problem with my balance as it is. But I tell you, I had to really go through with the apartment complex because Sonny has become a support dog. And they wanted me to pay I don't forgot how much, a lot of money for a deposit for her. And my, my MS doctor, he filled the paperwork out. He said, no. If she's your support, you that's what we're going to say she is. So, Sonny is listed as my support dog because when I, uh, one time I had been, uh, had a procedure and I was still real drowsy from it and fell asleep and I, I guess I was snoring real loud, and they saying I know Sonny was jumping on my chest trying to wake me up. And I would come out of it, and I would see her looking at me, and I said, "That was she jumping on me?" And you know, when you I don't know if it's sleep paralysis or whatever, but I went back into it real quick, and she was jumping on my chest again. So she is a good support dog, and. We look out for each other because at times I make videos at night and I hear this groaning noise in the background. But when I'm making a video, I don't hear it. But when I listen at the video again, I say, oh, that's Sunny snoring. So we have to watch out for each other because her snoring, she sounds like a big old bull sometimes. But that's my baby, my sugar foot. Yeah. But take care of your animals and. You know, it's, it's, you know, when you think about your, your fur babies, it, it makes it easier to be a vegan. Because, you know, if you got to kill something to eat it, you know, it'll make you not want to eat it. But, you know, if you don't have to be the one killing it, you know, you just season it up and eat it. But when you think about it, when you really think about the fear that's in these animals and I don't know. I don't think we... No, we don't need to be killing animals. We really don't. Because what's the difference between a dog or a cat? I used to have a Vietnamese guy that a little, little bit guy that worked for me. He say, Mary, you eat dog? And I thought he was talking about hot dogs. And I said, yeah. Ooh, I, I eat dog too. I eat dog too. I said, Oh, no, 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 Tim. I ain't talking about no dog. I thought you were talking about hot dog. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about dog. I don't eat dog anymore. And at that time, I had about maybe five puppies, and he asked me, Could he have one? I looked at him. I said, No, baby. I don't think you read it yet. No. <laughs> 
No, you ain't ready. You ain't been off of that addiction long enough. Shit. I can't let you have no dogs, boy. But anyway, I've been over here 25 minutes. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> she got a dingleberry on uh -huh. here. I'm on her. I'm going to have to cut her. Cut it off, man. It's time for her to go to the girls. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.